हेलो एंड असलम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल ओके द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज टूडे इज़ अबाउट कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो वट इज अ कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर ओके कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर इज अ सेट ऑफ रूल्स एंड मेथड्स दैट डिस्क्राइब द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ फंक्शनैलिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इट टेल्स यू अबाउट द होल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर वेदर इट्स अ हार्डवेयर और इट्स अ सॉफ्टवेयर right all the hardware components attached with it and all the software that are running that hardware and making use of that hardware or is all about computer architecture okay as you know that the von new von neumann was uh, a, a computer um, was a computer scientist that has developed the concept of a stored program how a, a computer must look like what are the main uh, units that are attached with the computer so here in this von neumann architecture you can see that this is a central processing unit central processing unit consists of control unit and arithmetic logic unit please uh, this is a spelling mistake please kindly avoid this okay now the central processing unit is is con is connected with the memory units data data from the memory unit is transferred to the central processing unit and after the data is processed the instructions are then back into the memory unit and how the memory unit will get the data it will get the data through the input unit and where the output of the processing will appear it will appear on the output unit so we will Uh, discuss all of these one by one okay now von neumann architecture diagram here is a more elaborated diagram in which as you have i have told you about um, the central processing unit uh, about uh, 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 central processing unit we have control unit and arithmetic logic unit in it right so here we have registers in central processing unit we also have registers like mar mdr program counter accumulator that will help the uh, central processing unit to hold the data and instructions temporarily right so uh, so central processing user unit use registers that are temporary storages used to hold the data temporarily and there are many u registers attached with, with it and we will discuss all these registers one by one and in memory we have data and programs right uh, that are used to be executed by this central processing unit and along with input and output unit okay okay now explaining the input devices input devices are pieces of hardware that get raw data into the computer ready for the processing so we can input the data through touch screens from cameras scanner microphones trackball and many more and the most important are the mouse and keyboard next is uh, the output unit the output devices they when just we input the uh, when input raw data has been processed it become usable information the output devices are piece of hardware that send this usable information out of the computer like on the monitor screen on speakers like plotters projectors printers and many more right okay now next is about the control unit the control unit is a component of computer central processing unit that directs the operation of the processor like the mind of uh, uh, that in a human body mind is there to control the all the body parts in the same way cpu uses control unit to control all the components of the computer right it tells the computer memory arithmetic logic unit and input device devices how to respond to the instructions that have been sent to the processor okay next we have uh, the arithmetic 
okay now you can see that the control unit control unit is connected with the memory and alu and it is also controlling the input and output devices so control unit is there to uh, you know control each and every output uh, input output memory and also arithmetic logic unit right so um, this uh, this arrows these thick arrows they are used to uh, for representing the transfer of data and these arrows these thin black arrows are representing the control of data through the control unit okay next is arithmetic logic unit arithmetic logic unit is a digital circuit used to perform arithmetic and logical operations it represents the fundamental building blocks of the central processing unit for example like uh, as uh, it will be discussed and we have already discussed that each instruction is divided into two parts opcode and operand the opcode part like what to do with the instruction will come to the arithmetic logic unit right and operand will be in uh, will be inputted from here for example this is operand 5 and this is operand 7 and we are going to perform addition operation on them so 5 plus 7 so plus what is a plus plus is a opcode that what we are going we are going to adding them so opcode is used to add uh, so uh, these operands 5 and 7 will be added and the integer result will be here in the y right and the status of the register will be represented by the status registers okay now this uh, diagram is uh, you know you can see this diagram about the connection of memory with the CPU memory has a location locations uh, here and these are the data and instruction is the memory now what are the location as we know that we have our, our house number in a specific street and all the houses in this uh, and all the institution they have a location uh, in any part of the world so in the same way the memory of the computer has a location right for every uh, data or instructions so uh, the cpu asks for the data from the memory and then memory will transfer the data to the cpu now this data will be uh, through uh, cpu will ask for the uh, address the cpu will send the address uh, from where he uh, it wants uh, the memory uh, data so it will be sent through uh, address bus and then on the data bus the uh, these instructions will be sent to cpu right and uh, these are the address waiting to be uh, like uh, used by the cpu and uh, program what is program counter program counter hold the address of the next instruction to be uh, executed okay okay the registers are the type of computer memory used to quickly accept store and transfer the data and instruction that are being used immediately by the cpu so cpu use these temporary memories in order to uh, to store data because as you know that computer speed is very high and uh, so it 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 just fetches billion of instructions from the memory so it stores the data into the registers computer also use buses bus computer bus is a communication system that transfers data between the components inside a computer or between the computers also the control uh, unit use control bus to control the data uh, for example i can show you here in this example you can you can see that the control unit is transferring uh, is controlling all the computers through what through com control bus right these control signals will be generated through control bus and the data transfer from alu to output unit from uh, input unit to the memory or from memory to alu this is done by the data buses right so that the data bus transfers the data from the memory and the computer also gives uh, uh, memory addresses uh, to fetch any instruction from the memory so it also uses address bus 
okay okay students now uh, your today's assignment for monday like you have to submit this assignment on uh, tuesday I, i will check your assignments find out information about registers and write down the purpose of the following registers memory address register program counter memory data register con uh, cir that is uh, current instruction register and accumulator register find out information about them because our next lecture is about them and when you will have an idea of these registers you can easily understand the next lecture okay i'm attaching the assignment with your in your um, uh, cgsis also so please uh, have your assignment and please go through the lecture also uh, and do this assignment by uh, tuesday okay thank you